Well, what's new? The Toronto Maple Leafs lose another elimination game seven game to the Montreal Canadiens. They blow a 3-1 series lead, which that's the meme, you know. Indians blew a 3-1 lead in 2016. Warriors blew a 3-1 lead in 2016. Jazz, you know, this, cetera, et cetera. 3-1 lead. You can only blow a 3-1 lead in hockey, basketball, and baseball. Um, and that's happened in all sports. You know, 3-1 is not impossible to come back from, you know. And uh, let's start off. I put the two of the best players from each team. Uh, my player of the game, my player of the game for the, I mean, of the series for the least, uh, Nylander had eight points, five goals, you know. He played very well, in my opinion. You know, he stepped up in the playoffs, really. Won a, he actually played better than Matthews. He played better than Mart. Fuck Martiner. Um he was the best offensive scorer, him, Spezza, and Kerfoot a little bit, but Kerfoot didn't really play that good in Game 7. And for the offense for Montreal, I think Josh Anderson, no, he got one goal. Um, I think Suzuki got a couple. You know, I don't really care about Montreal. This is Toronto. Uh, so, Game 1, JT gets hurt because Sherratt hit him, and uh, Corey Perry accidentally hit JT and Jan Tavares, in the face with a knee, and that did affect the team that game. But the rest of the series, you know, they went, they rolled into Montreal. They, I mean, they rolled back the next couple of days. Won game two, five to one. It was pretty good. They played very well. They gave up the opening goal, and then they just the momentum shifted after that. And then the next game, they scored first in the second period, and then Montreal scored again. I think it was Suzuki. Then Riley scored. They won that. Uh, game four, they won in Montreal, and uh, they took that game uh, handily for zero. And the next two games were probably the worst out of all of them. Uh, they gave up three goals in the first three goals against Montreal in game five, and then they came back and lost no T. Gave up two goals in the third period, came back, lost no T. And then this game, thank God they didn't lose an OT because that would kill me. Uh, they blew it. Um, they, you know, the entire game Montreal controlled. The entire game Gallagher scored, and then uh, I think Corey Perry scored in the power play, and then empty netter by I have no fucking clue, some French guy. But the Leafs they blew a four three one lead, and like all Leaf fans are pissed about this, and I am. But you know, I'm I'm very I'm just disappointed in this team, man. They could have done better. You know, people say, oh, the Leafs are, like, this was a different team. It's just Marner, <laughs> it's just, you know, just, they couldn't hit back, really. In Montreal, they were more physical. Carey Price was amazing. They had an all-star goalie. We don't, Jack Campbell, he's a good goalie. He capped us in a lot of game, in most of these games, especially game number three when we won 2-1. But, you know, he's not an all-star goalie. Neither is Frederick Anderson. I think we would have got swept if Anderson played. Thank God he's going to be gone. I'm happy Campbell, you know, he stepped up. You know, he's not the best goalie in the league. Obviously, it's like Hullabuck, Perry, Vasilevsky, those guys. But Campbell stepped up. And then Nylander, best, like, offensive player. And then best defensive player, probably Muzzin. He scored a couple goals in game five. And then he was playing pretty well. But goes like the entire defense was actually pretty good. It's just they couldn't hit. Montreal out hit them, especially in game six. They just they roared from the crowd and that crowd fueled them, especially in the first period. Um, I'm pissed. You know, I'm very pissed. You know, we're eliminated. We're gone. I picked them to win the cup. Obviously, I'm, ne I'm always gonna fucking pick them to win the cup because I always believe in the Leafs and obviously they always let me down. Uh, will they win a cup in my lifetime? Maybe when I'm like 50. Or something like that, or thirty when Matthews is like thirty-five and he gets the cup, he like he he does like a John Elway moment, he does a helicopter goal or something like that. I don't know, um, but yeah, I want change. Like I don't want Marner to be a Leaf anymore. I, I know he's making eleven million, but like Marner sucked two straight years in the playoffs. Um, like I think Joe Thornton's gonna be gone. Simmons. 
Um, a lot of guys like Riley Nash is obviously going to be gone. Like all these like depth move guys are going to be gone, and like we have to get a little bit younger. But obviously, keep I want to keep Spezza because you know he's he played very well in the playoffs and the regular season, and he's a good veteran to have around. And he's not really overpaid to get in the league minimum. I think we should pay him a little bit more. But if he wants the league minimum, give him the league minimum. Um, as for Montreal, good luck to Winnipeg. It's going to be a tough series. Two good goalies. Um, I hope Winnipeg wins, obviously, because fuck Montreal. But, you know, I gave him 100% credit for this series. They they didn't quit. You know, they could have quit in game number five. Uh, in Toronto, but they didn't. They kept pounding. Like, they're a younger team. They have a lot of younger players, and, you know, they stepped up, and they have a lot of veterans, too, and not, like, 50-year-old veterans. These veterans can move. Stahl can move. Perry can move. Weber. You know, those guys are pretty damn good players, and, like, um, I'm not going to watch the rest of the playoffs because the Leafs are not in it, but, you know, I hope Winnipeg wins, obviously. I hate the Montreal Canadiens, but I got to give you guys props. Guys kicked our ass, guys. We're a more physical team. Um, you know, and we can all agree that we don't want Boston to win the championship, obviously. So we have to root for the Islanders, like both Montreal and Leaf fans. So what I got to do, I'm going to call the Leaf, uh, Jays game tomorrow. Jays versus Marlins. And then uh, the new league year starts today. So maybe Julio Jones gets traded. Aaron Rodgers. Who, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, no one can fuck and bash Nylander. You know, he's one of my favorite players, and he played. He played very good. Matthews, he didn't play that good, but at the same time, Marner was trash. <laughs> so they couldn't. He couldn't really get as much setups. Like they shut down that line. They really did. And I know that we didn't have JT. Uh, we didn't have John Tavares for basically the entire series. You know, and that that probably would have changed a lot. Maybe we would have won in six, but it doesn't really matter. Tavares is not a physical guy. He's just a skilled player. And then they would have to focus on Tavares. And that, that would change the series up. But, you know, not going to give any excuses. Montreal probably would have kicked their ass in seven again. You know, even with John Tavares. You know, um, Leafs needs next year probably. Uh, defense is kind of set. You know, if we bring back Bogosian, you know, if Muzzin gets back healthy, um, center's okay. We'll see what happens. We have to re-sign Hyman. We need to get a backup goalie or get an upgrade. If if Campbell's the answer, then uh, we need a backup goalie. Maybe Wall gets called up. I don't know. I really don't know. This team put me through hell uh, this few days. But you know what? GG to all the Montreal fans, you know. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit the like. Uh, I don't really do that much hockey because, you know, I tend to do more American sports because, you know, I'm American in heart. Uh, but, um, but, you know, we'll see what the Leafs do in the off season in Montreal. Hope you lose, but you know what? You'll give Winnipeg a fight for sure, man. You guys are, you guys are pretty good. And uh, can't wait till next season. Peace. Go Leafs. Go. Go Raptors. Go Jays. Go Broncos. Go Clemson Tigers. Fuck the CFL. Fuck Montreal. Unless you play Boston, I ain't ruined for you. See ya.